Hey everyone, it's Desiree, and I am here with another Rubber Stamp Tapestry Design Team project. And for this one, I'm going to use the Peg Stamp Set called Strawberry Delight. I think this is absolutely precious, these little strawberries. I'm also going to pull in um, some previous stamp sets um, from Rubber Stamp Tapestry. So here are the peg stamps that we're going to use. So we've got the little strawberry, we've got the flower for the strawberry, and of course we've got a couple of the greeneries that go with them. Now remember, they have the registration mark on the peg stamps um, so that you know what how your image is going to stamp. I'm also going to pull in the Woodland Harvest, and that's one of the Lindsay, Lindsay the Frugal crafter designs with rubber stamp tapestry. I've got a paintbrush, I've got some Bristol paper, I've got my distress inks, and now I'm going to get ready to stamp. So for this one, instead of using my mementos, which is always a habit whenever I use my peg stamps, I wanted to use my distress inks and do some water coloring with using the peg stamps. So what's great is I stamped down that one stump, uh, tree stump that she has. I just, the detail in it, I just think is gorgeous. So I stamped that in my ground espresso. I have a paintbrush. I'm just pulling in some water, a light amount, and I'm just moving the ink. Again, I'm using some Bristol cardstock. So you can see the shading that I get. I'm not losing the lines that are um, from the stamp, but I'm able to just pull that color from the side. And I do apologize. I think I'm getting another cold. I don't think they're going to stop. So, <clears throat> excuse me, once I'm done with that, I want to make sure that it's dry. So I will hit it with my heat gun. I'm now going to come in with my peeled paint and I'm going to use that or stamp that with one of the greeneries for the, from the stamp set. And again, I'm going to come back in with my paintbrush and just move those colors. Now, they have some great detail on these stamps. I'm kind of removing that, but it's there faintly. Okay, so I'm not, I'm just trying to shift the ink to give almost a, water, a watercolor look with what I'm doing. Once I'm done with those images, I'm coming back in with my heat gun and hitting it. So for the other greenery, I'm going to use shabby shutters. Um, now this is just like a vine. So I'm really, I'm twisting and turning this peg stamp to get the different angles, um, whether it's upside down or whatever, it doesn't matter on that. So I'm not really worried about the registry um, and where this is going to stamp. I want it to be all over. For this, again, paintbrush is coming in and I'm just moving that color around and not this one so much because again, it is really a vine, but I just want the faint touch of that color to spread through. For the flower within this set, I'm actually rocking my stamp set around the edge. I don't want that solid color to go towards the center. Um, and even when I'm moving it with my paintbrush, I'm staying towards the outside. But I did want that bright color of yellow and I used mustard seed for that. For the strawberries, I do care where the register is because I want them to sit a specific way. So again, I'm still turning and twisting though. And this, for these colors, I'm using fired brick and barn door. And I'm just letting them lay all over and then I'm coming back in with my brush and I'm making this a solid. Now, you can still see again some of the design because the strawberries actually have the leaf um, the little leaf top, the green top on them. So I'm kind of covering that up um, because I made sure that they were stamped near one of the green leaves, the darker green that I had stamped. 
Once that's dry, I'm just grabbing a little bit of my peeled paint, putting it on a palette, adding some water, and then just spreading that down below and around the tree stump. I'm then coming in with Stormy Sky and doing the same thing. And I'm just doing a very quick wash going on top of my card. I'm okay if it's streaky, if I've got some white spots, they're just going to be my clouds up in the sky. And then I'm just coming in and filling in the areas in between where the strawberries are. Now this did have a little bit more water, but not enough that it's going to completely warp my card. Now, I did forget to say, before I started all of this stamping and painting, I did use one of my stitch rectangle dies from my stash to cut this panel. I grabbed one of my white gel pens and I'm adding in the dots for my strawberries. So I'm just dotting away. No rhyme or reason, doesn't have to be exact, but that's just helping them to come out a little bit more. Um, and give them a shape, give them texture. And that's what our piece looks like. So I grabbed my uh, stamp positioner and I'm going to use one of my sentiments from my stash and it's going to say, sending lovely memories. So I just like the way that sounded. Um, whether it's memories, thoughts, um, hugs, and I'm going to use my Gina K charcoal brown and I'm going to stamp that right up into the sky. I am going to stamp this a couple times because again, the Bristol does have some texture and I just want to make sure I get a very good impression um, when I stamp my sentiment. Now there was a little fuzzy that I got. So I just real quick picked up my tweezers and carried that off. It gave me a little bit of a spot, but again, I'm good with it. You know, again, it's a handmade card. I'm going to use some fun foam to back this. Um, I do want this to have, um, for one, to be propped off of my card base, um, but this will also help keep it flat too with all of the water that we did apply. I am using my double-sided two-inch film tape from Uline to secure my fun foam to the back of my panel and onto my standard A2 size card base, which is four and a quarter by five and a half and it is a top folding. I grabbed my white Nouveau drops and I'm just putting a drop of those in the center of the flowers. Um, I really wanted those to be white, um, so I'm just adding that color. Now these Nouveau drops will change color a little bit. They will pick up the pigment because um, they do reactivate the ink. I did find one of those strawberries that I missed. I'm sure you all were seeing it. And that is our project today. Um, as always, here are the close-ups. And again, I hope you enjoyed this card using rubber stamp tapestry peg stamps and my design team project. All the products that I did use will be listed down below in the video description. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to reach out and I will make sure I get back to you as soon again, as soon as I can. I want to thank you so much for taking the time and joining me today and watching my video. If you haven't already, I'd love for you to subscribe, be part of my group here, and here's a couple other videos I thought maybe you'd just like to watch. I hope everyone's having a great day. Make sure you take care, but always remember what's most important. Always be creative.